So for everybody that's been keeping active count of how many spin-offs we're getting from The Mandalorian, it's three. We're getting three spin-offs plus more Mando. And who knows what else might happen down the road, which undoubtedly will probably add a few more. So let's talk about some rumors that have been going through the fandom about a potential giant movie-style Avengers crossover. So if we look at everything we sort of know for what's coming down the road from this time period that the Mandalorian takes place in, we know that now that Baby Yoda, aka Grogu, is gone, they could focus more on what the Mandalorians are doing to try to get back their homeworld of Mandalore. The Fett series will explore him officially becoming, I guess, sort of like the King of Tatooine, if you will. Plus, with the title of The Book Of, I'm assuming there will be some flashbacks and further expanding what this character was doing in the past and also some modern day stuff at the time of the series taking place right after season 2 of Mando. The Republic show is quite clearly going to end up being exactly what we heard before with the series focusing on the building of the New Republic and as they're trying to battle the early rise of the First Empire. And I think it's pretty obvious that Ahsoka is going to be the most important piece of this entire puzzle because she is going after Grand Admiral Thrawn, who we know now exists during this time period, and is pulling some of the strings, which means she's going to run into Ezra, which obviously means that these characters are going to be duking it out with Thrawn, who also works for the Emperor and is most likely in charge of some of the things happening that lead to the rise of the First Order. So inevitably, as many people are suspecting, we're going to see a crossover with maybe two or three or maybe all four of these shows eventually crossing over down the road for all of these characters to maybe even come together with Luke Skywalker and fight Grand Admiral Thrawn, which honestly makes perfect sense. So like pretty much every other rumor that ran rampant that turned out to be 100% true in regards to all the spinoffs we're getting, all the guest characters, returning characters, and plot points, I'm gonna assume that this is their ultimate goal. Like, this is gonna be something that builds up for a couple of years, and then the ultimate blow-off and possibly ending to one or two of the series is going to be a major crossover like that, The sort of ushers in in the era of the sequel trilogy capping that off so they don't start stepping onto that specific territory while over there they start building up the High Republic which will undoubtedly also make a couple of spin-offs off of the Acolyte so it sort of does make sense that this is something that they're building up and I 100% believe that as people are saying that this is what they're planning that it is gonna happen <laughs> 